Already we're being warned to expect an increase in hospitalizations. So is that dampening the mood as the province's reopening timeline rolls on? CTV's Beth McDonnell is live with more. Beth. Andrea, the modeling shows cases are likely to go up, but by how much? That really depends on us, the number of our close contacts, especially if we're not wearing a mask and we're inside. Another thing, our vaccination status will play a role, as well as the spread of the new variant. As people across Ontario embrace gatherings and prepare to ditch masks in many settings, new modeling from Ontario's COVID-19 science advisory table shows the virus is very much among us. It believes the province is seeing about 15 to 20,000 new infections per day. We are, we are the masters of our own fate. If we take it a bit easy, not too fast, you know, don't switch now immediately and say everything is fine. The latest data shows case numbers, hospital and ICU occupancy have stopped declining, along with the wastewater signal and provincial test positivity rate. All this as the highly transmissible subvariant BA2 is circling. If behavior changes are moderate with relaxed public health measures, projections show hospital and ICU occupancy will increase, but is expected to be manageable, unlike the last wave in December, which prompted business closures and surgeries to be cancelled. Since then, we made a lot of progress due to vaccination and due, of course, also due to a lot of people who got infected, meaning we built up a wall of immunity. Progress many are hoping Ontario can hold on to. Feel pretty safe because I had COVID in January and it was milder than the flu. It's, it's time to move on. But uh, nevertheless, I think because we are where we are, because people were responsible. I mean, for the foreseeable future, we, we anticipate not going to large events, just trying to make sure we wear masks. Yeah. But we'll see how things go. Everything changes all the time, so you have to adjust your actions. Moving forward, the data points to the effectiveness of third doses reducing hospital and ICU occupancy, people having a complete series of vaccines as the best defense against picking up and spreading the illness, and that a mask protects the person who wears it and others around them. It can go wrong. I think we will be okay, you know, in many situations. But what, of course, just uh, I, I'm not really sure about this uh, masking in schools. Would it have been wise just to wait a few weeks longer? Ontario is scrapping most mask mandates on Monday. The modeling says older adults, people who are immunocompromised and unvaccinated are still susceptible to severe illness. Reporting live, I'm Beth McDonnell. Andrea, back to you.